Hello, welcome back to another video on Vedic Astrology. In this video, I am going to talk to you about the upcoming Saturn transit that is going to happen on 2nd November 2014 and this is going to be with regard to all the people who have their moon signs as Scorpio or what is also known as Vrishchika Rashi. Vrishchika Rashi has 3 stars, Vishaka, Anuradha and uh, Jeshta. If you belong to any of these 3 stars, then this video is for you. This is for Vrishchika Rashi and that means your moon is over here. This sign is called Vrishchika which is the 8th sign from Mesha. So in the South Indian format, it always is here. The, the main point about Saturn in the first is, it is the peak of 7 and a half years Saturn. Because 2 and a half years before it started and now it is right in the middle. The next and after that you have another 2 and a half years. So Saturn with Moon is the actual problem and whenever they combine in a horoscope, it uh, leads to pessimism, to sorrow and so many other things or the problems of the mind, etc. So, Saturn the first usually indicates health issues. Health issues can be various types. Some of them can be brought forward from the past life and some may be just because of your habits in your current life. In case uh, you are regularly consuming alcohol, Saturn does not like alcohol at all and it is better to give it up completely until you get out of this two and a half years phase. And uh, if you are finding it very difficult, then the next thing is at least on Saturn dominated times, please avoid alcohol. Another wonderful remedy for this is, if you, talk, if you start taking care of the health issues of the poor and the needy people in your society, in your community, on Saturdays especially and on 8th or 17th or 26th, then the health issues that is indicated by Saturn for you would actually not happen. So this is another, this is a wonderful way of using astrological knowledge. The second one is separation from dear ones. In those days, separation from dear ones uh, meant only death. Even today it includes that. But but today it, it can mean uh, you, you go away from your dear people or the dear people go away to another place. It's all that is indicated. And in case uh, you have very elderly people in your family or maybe your great grandfather or your great grandmother or grandmother or grandfather etc. Then you, you may have to hear the bad news. During such times it is better to understand Saturn as the planet for death and say that death is a very normal process in human life and you will have to get philosophical about it and that's one of the solutions. If you are looking for uh, very active solutions uh, for uh, this problem, then uh, uh, we suggest that you get into a social service activity which is connecting to taking care of the unclaimed bodies in hospital which is lying there forever until somebody claims it. So you need to go through an organization like uh, Rotary International or uh, maybe Lions Club or etc. and then get this uh, done. Uh, as a group, you can actually do this. Then, now with all this, is Saturn in the first going to be really bad? It is not going to be bad for everyone. It may be because you are going through a good dasha and bhukti, planetary periods, which can actually suppress uh, the transit of Saturn in the first, but still everyone is going to feel the difference. And uh, the the next point is that if in your Ashtavarga, oh, sorry, if in your Sarvashtaka the score in Vrishtika is greater than 28, if it is 35 or 40, then it will be very less. But minimum is 28 and if it is greater than 28, then uh, the challenging effects will be lower. In case the Ashtavarga of Saturn has greater than or equal to 3 or 4, or if it is 4 or 5 or 6 or 7, then it, it keeps, it improves. So you will have lesser and lesser of problems connected to Saturn the first. And now, the most important good news is Jupiter on June 19, 2014, from the 8th transited into the 9th, you can see one big word all around prosperity. Jupiter in the 9th and this Jupiter is not ordinary, it is exalted and so surely you will find a big protection from Jupiter. This is a one year window. So all the people in Vrishikarasi, we should actually concentrate on Jupiter the 9th and uh, just in case Saturn puts up a fight with Jupiter, all you have to do is do maximum Saturn remedies. If you are living in a place where there are crows, 
uh, where you can see crows around you, then uh, don't have your breakfast without feeding the crows. That is one remedy. And second thing is, because Jupiter is so strong and Jupiter in actually means a guide, a consultant, a lawyer, a teacher. So whatever problems you are having, meet the appropriate uh, person who, who can be called a guru or a teacher. And then that person would help you come out of a particular problem that is indicated because Saturn is being in the first house. So, Vrishika Rasi people should actually be glad that uh, Jupiter is protecting them for one year. So, out of the middle two and a half years, at least one year, you don't have to worry. But at the same time, do not lower your guards. Always do the certain remedies as I have suggested in many other videos. Of course, uh, you can also get more information on this, on how to actually handle uh, some of your Saturn uh, by using astrological remedies. And most of them, believe it or not, would be simply giving food, money or clothing or shelter to the poor and needy. It's very simple and very effective. Uh, just because it is simple, do not doubt its uh, efficiency. It is very, very effective. If uh, it just is based on one simple rule that if you do not help, you should not expect help from others. So this is the basis for uh, the giving with relation to, in relation to uh, Saturn. I hope you learned a few things about Saturn being over your Janma Rashi, but don't worry about it. Uh, if you look at it as a piece of information, as a caution, if you're really serious about Vedic astrology, then it's not just uh, you know getting curious and if you just wanting to know more about your horoscope, but you should actually start doing things that can actually alter your future. In the next video, I'll be doing the Saturn transit with regard to Dhanushrasi people or Sagittarius moon sign people for whom this Saturn transit which is going to happen on number 2nd, would be the beginning of Sound of Saturn.